Record, record on this computer. There we are, mm -hmm. Mr. Kenny. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> got it. We, uh, it's just us knuckles heads today. So if you're upset about that, you should probably um, sign, sign off, off now. Sign off now, baby. <laughs> sign off now. Don't, um, don't, don't put yourself to the aggravation yeah, that you need. Yeah, yeah. It's but, Christmas. But I'm feeling... Kenny and I were talking about this uh, beforehand because Kenny and I talk a lot, but um, I was saying that last week I was feeling pretty um, not get up and go. Like I was just feeling generally pretty burnt out, I think. Um, and then weirdly enough, I got my booster shot on the weekend, which made me feel worse, except that I managed to get like two whole nights of sleep actually which made things, you know, um, so I feel lots of get up and go. And I feel Kenny, Kenny feels like he has less get up and go. Oh my God. I feel like I'm <laughs> dying here. I shut myself in my video off again. <laughs> What's happening? So like, honestly, anyway, so I, I think we're all kind of there at the end of the year. So if you, I want, uh, this, you know what? I want this to be over right now, yeah, I'm just tired. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. I'm just tired. Well, I think, I think too, we haven't had any vacation really this year like a handful like of days to no yeah there's no weeks of like dialing out or or kind of like expanding your mind going somewhere new there's none of that right like you know yeah so i think i think all of that plays into some i of think it too, does I too think. i think it's just um yeah. yeah i think i'm just i think i need a beach you know yeah. just a nice beach yeah and a, and a beer we, we were talking about that, how things change, right? Like, because at the beginning of the year, we were kind of like, oh, you know, we were asking the kids, like, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? And, and it was kind of like a mixed bag of like, oh, maybe we should go to, you know, if we could, we could go to a cosmopolitan city like London or Paris or something yeah. and be able to run around the city. <clears throat> and then there was like half of us, going, oh, you know, maybe a beach would be nice. And then I think when I asked the kids the other day, they were all like 100%. It was beach, beach, sun. beach, 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 sun. Yeah, totally. Something that we can swim till we're totally. tired, lie down and sleep till we're not tired. And totally. Yeah. Well, I wanted yeah, to yeah. book something. I wanted to book something this week. Yeah. Right. I really did. I thought, you yeah. know what? I'll book something this week. Yeah. But, but you, you said, know. no, I have to do the podcast. I can't go. And Amelia said, oh, yes, no, honey, no, you're no, right. No, no, that's not even close. <laughs> no, no, not even close. No, Come on, close. man. <laughs> no, because that, that would be, you know, it's the stupid bug. Yeah. I don't know where you're allowed to go. Like, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I know it's an advisory now, now, but I don't want to be stuck. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I don't care if I get stuck in Hawaii or Mexico. I mean, there are a lot worse places I get stuck in. Uh, I'd want to get it's, stuck it's, in it's, Hawaii. It's, it's the complications of it, right? Yeah. I just don't, don't yeah. want to be, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it's, yeah, it's just silly right now. I just don't know yeah. what I don't know what we're supposed to do. I know yeah. what I know what they want us to do. Yeah, I do. I get it. But I think we're just. I'm tired. I'm just yeah. tired of doing nothing. Yeah. Right. Like yeah, I, yeah. I think we just like you said. I think we just need to get away. Yeah. I really I want so. some sun. I want to just go like with a beach and a couple books and like even if I you know yeah. you know when you read that one page and you fall asleep. Yeah. And you read another page yeah. and fall. So by the time yeah. you're 10 pages, you've slept 12 hours on the beach. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I yeah, got that's you. what I want. That would be nice. 10, it makes me smile, that. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, but that's but okay. what can you do? Um, we, what we, 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 didn't, we didn't come on just to talk vacation, though. Um, we, uh, we thought we'd review a little. We, we actually, since the last time that the two knuckleheads were on, um we actually we've had some like really cool episodes a good month. right yeah we we had a really good really, really good, good month. month like we we had uh it's not quite a month like they don't quite line up right but really close so like we we had Celad we had Mimi and Glenson who run Celadon House um here in Ontario on the show family run business we had uh Rohan Marleon who runs an altogether different family business yeah, a little higher, um, a little more money. Yeah, a little bit business. different, right? A little bit different. Uh, okay. But then, but then we had Andrew Kinnear on, and Andrew um, also runs a family business, um, which is kind of cool. He runs it with his wife, and they run Yellow Fruit. And then we had Neil's Neil's Real Deal, 
and uh, also a different family business, right? That's run well, he by runs with his wife and as his well. wife, right? Yeah, and then that one's even more interesting because it involves you know kind of four generations of family and right. things like that. Um, the only one that's um, different out of that is is uh, social nature. So, Analia Krabs and uh, and uh, Jessica Malik were on on last, right? With with their right um, with their Discovery Network, but yeah, right. yeah. Well, they could be our family. Yeah, they are we'll like family. That. See, then, yeah. see, then it was all family show. The whole yeah, thing was yeah, a family yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But very it was cool. Interesting. That was a cool one. Yeah. It was, it was, I was more surprised. That, you know, it's funny what I, if you think of it, three of the five were husband, wife, partners, right? Um, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's interesting when, when families can do business together like that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool without killing each other, right? You know, because that's 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 it's a well, grind, right? We don't really. We don't know. If well, we don't know if they're not killing each other. I shouldn't say that. You're right. <laughs> right. I mean, the guys all did seem kind of beat up. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that means, yeah. but yeah, they looked a little rough. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So I mean, Andrew Kinnear and and Claire. Uh, sorry, Claire. I'm going to get your wrong your name wrong, but Claire uh, Lysinus, L Y S N E S. Listness, listness. Anyway, I have no idea. Husband and wife. Andrew husband and wife Claire. team. But it was cool, right? <laughs> yeah. But that was a, that was a cool story, right? Because yeah. you know, again, it was one of those ones we had a month of, where, like, the difference between Neil and his and his family. They they're this is four generations, just passionate about that yeah. particular food, and they yeah. were going to put it on the market because the world needed it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. You got the immigrants who come in and it's probably the, one of the easiest things for them to do is start a restaurant because they did that yep. back home. So yep. it kind of flowed through, but yellow fruit wasn't that way. Yellow fruit was, there was no, like there was no, you know, thing for bananas or like, you know, we were, nope. Oh my God, we need to do nope. a banana ice cream, not ice cream idea. Right. That was, that was the one I thought was a little fascinating because yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't, a built-in passion like no. for 30 years all they talked about was bananas yeah no nothing right? like that right like i think they have a family allergy and so it started there but then there wasn't any and they just um and then that one's funky because he he probably more than any other entrepreneur like he saw a market need for it right he saw Which a market need make for sense it either, and, though, then for, he, you know? and then he figured out the economics fast yeah. right like both of those are very unusual for, that was bizarre always yeah. the fact that he actually yeah. thought about the economics you know talked about scaling talked about like he understood the mess he was getting into yeah. with refrigeration yeah. and and, yeah. and uh cold chain like i thought yeah. buddy like usually it's people walk into that one without knowing squat nope. and then nothing get just trounced, yeah. right yeah, yeah. because it's yeah. a tough gig yeah but he had it i don't know he seemed to have it pretty figured out like he really went in thoughtful he knew what he was doing yeah I, I that was yeah. pretty impressive. That's yeah. a tough, tough, tough segment of the store. Like tough segment. It is right. You know, look yeah. frozen and then expiry dates, movement, oh, uh, direct to store. Like it's just like logistics is crazy there, right? Like you, you gotta, it's expensive. Yeah, you gotta really know what you're doing to be yeah. in that space. Ads. Or you're going to be really ballsy, right? Like really ballsy. So I think so too. Um, and it's definitely yeah. an area that lights up. Like if you, if, no, if people don't have not look like the listeners haven't checked, go check a set when there's yeah. special signs or first or sale signs. Yeah. And in the freezer section, more than any other section of the store, those sections hop when there's a price reduction, like they hop. So it is fueled <clears throat> by a lot of high low, which is really yeah, yeah, a, a, yeah. another challenge. Yeah. On top of the fact that the buyers in that area are interesting on a good day. Yeah. You know, that you have cold chain. There's a lot of complications. So if yeah. you can do it in there, man, good on you. Yeah. Like yeah. you're you're killing it. Yeah. Like that's really it. cool. It's it's really cool. Like I thought that was story. And then like Neil and his family, like four generations, and then being able yeah. to make this stuff. Like he's got um, it's funny, right? Because Kenny and I were talking about him after because he wants to be the biggest he can be, but He's um, probably almost already there because it's going to be really yeah. tough to do it just yeah. on your own. Because yeah. you know yeah. he's he's out running around store to store, and you know he gets to know everybody, and that's wonderful. But yeah, that yeah. is so have, not. Have scalable. you gotten your stuff yet or not yet? 
Uh, no, but it's okay. kind of the post, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's, uh, you know, and you've got like, you've been in kind of a wet region a little bit. Oh, man, we're you finally know, opening, little, we're finally little, opening the main highway, right? Yeah, yeah. Finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it'll good get there. should flow. Well, yeah, it your, should. Your mom's chocolate just got there. Oh, my mom was super stoked this weekend. She sent me a uh, text. Yeah, I got adopted this weekend. I think you pretty much did. No, I, I did because she actually, I'll read you the note. What so I sent. Say? <laughs> so, so I sent, I sent Kenny's mom, Aunt Sarah's chocolates because we love Aunt Sarah. Um, and yeah, so we sent her chocolates man. because, uh, because she, you know, honestly, she's just looked after me all year. Right. So every time she I ask stuff, for, right? for uh, biscotti, she sends some, if I'm there, she rushes and she makes me some, you know, so this time I was there, I easily gained 10 pounds just eating the cookies out of Kenny's house. She was upset by the way that like, she didn't make you anything. Eh? Why? When she got, when she got the chocolate, she goes, she left, sent me in and she goes, he said, she goes, I didn't even make him anything this time. What? Oh my God. I ate half of your chocolate. Your I told cookies, her that. I said like, he was into my cookies. Yeah, Say same thing. Yeah, no, she was, thing. no, she was all over the fact that she hadn't made you anything. <laughs> so, so she said this, she said to my thoughtful new grandson, Thank you once again for the awesome chocolates. How'd you make grandson? You're my age. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm okay with that. Oh I'm on the God. same level with Daniel now. So <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's Jesus. awesome. So, I'll, yeah. I'll let Daniel know. I'll say, listen, yeah. Phil's taking yeah, taking a I'm chunk taking out of your buddy. Now, so. <laughs> That's Move <awesome>. over, buddy. <laughs> you know, I told you, you don't know how much my mom loves. My mom loves chocolate. Hey, I, you know, I, like good chocolate, it's like especially. two things I love now, right? I love your mom. And then I love like Sarah and her chocolates, right? Oh, so I love, Sarah, I love her chocolates. Together, so yeah. Yeah. They're, they're really so good. good. Like they're yeah. just so good. Yeah. Yeah. And they so traveled anyway. well, obviously, because I think my mom was in them right away. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I mean, but I ordered those for context. I should find it. It's really bad because uh, I don't actually order off the site anymore. I just kind of what's up, Sarah, and then Sarah figures out. That's funny. Um, so I ordered those a month ago, November twenty fifth. It's about right. No, last it's, it's, time I got there, like it's about seven right days for right there. now. Yeah, for yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we sent a letter, a, a CRA letter, November thirtieth. Yeah. When yeah. I told you that, yeah, got there on Friday. Yeah. November so right 30th. now it's you know so your, your stuff is coming but it might be like yeah. into the new might be, it should be this no i got a feeling it might be this week we might get lucky yeah yeah, yeah. anyway hey, what are you gonna do yeah but uh but i sent kenny some neil's real deal so i'm so pretty stoked be... i can't wait to try it i really yeah. that i think yeah. my bro because if we get it before christmas yeah it'd be huge because my brother-in-law likes like some heat okay 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 um yeah you know and my daughter yeah. well hopefully my daughter's coming in today or tomorrow okay Awesome. Well, we're worried about that too because the roads are going to yeah. be shitty. But, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Neil's real deal, yellow fruit, and then I think Celadon House. They may close again because of all of our. Yeah, but those go back to takeout anyway. Yeah, I those just, two figured feel, out the game. I feel bad for that. They actually added. Yeah, they just they closed their dining room again. Again. Um. So they they they're they're on takeout, which is great. Um. But they also. They also added dim sum to their menu. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's really cool. It's an experiential dim sum. I, I was checking, and what they've done now is they've added like a, it's like a dim sum box. And so you can order like a, you know, pre made or pre set right. um, dim sum menu for two sort of thing. And then you go home and just prep it. Um, but it comes with everything. Yeah, frozen like this, dim sum like, meal. Like the kits. normal stuff? So it has uh, four hagao and then yeah. four spinach and shrimp hagao and then four shrimp and pork siumai and then three beef balls, four barbecue pork buns, three pork and vegetable bean curd rolls, and then two steamer paper liners. Um, so if you don't have, you know, right. the steamers, they do it for you. And then they give you um, homemade spiced chili garlic oil and a pot serving of either green jasmine tea or roasted corn tea. It feeds two to three people. That's not bad. How much? Yeah, 30 bucks. 35 oh, that's not bucks. bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dim sum's the best yeah. that way. Dim sum is, like, honestly, dim sum's cheap. Like that? That's that's a cool Dude, that's little... A, that's, that's, a, that's enough that's food, too. Cool like that's a cool little kit. Yeah. I like that. Two to three people, right? It, it feeds. Oh, they'll crush it. Yeah. 
Go crush it's, it with it's that It's pretty one. cool, you know? Oh, yeah, I think and that's then if awesome. we're going back to takeout, it's also a really great, you know? It's like, super easy for takeout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Oh, good so it's for cool. them. So it's cool. They got a yeah. cool thing, though. They, you know, tough gig. Restaurant business, you know, not not fun. I mean, can be fun, but it's it's yeah. it's it's tough, right? Especially with this last year. I mean, the amount of restrictions. I mean, it's unbelievable. You want it's, to decimate an industry? Jeez. It's an interesting thing, though, right? Because if you think of like, so I, you know, obviously, I, I know them. Uh, they're family friends, but like, I don't know what their hopes and dreams are. But like, su- success is such a different form for each of these guys. Like, yeah. you look at um, with these two, they don't want to open like never in our conversation was it about more than one restaurant right they didn't want to see no. more than one celadon house they all they wanted to do was make great food you yeah. know be able to pay for bills and then get yeah. their kids through school yeah and now their kids are through school and they're still doing it and they're actually iterating and making it cooler yeah um so to me that's that's amazing right and then but then you look at like neil and his form of successes he wants to be the biggest sauce he can be right like the caveats being he hasn't figured out whether he's okay with letting go of homemade yet yeah um, or or kind of that neil, that neil made, needs some right? help because his yeah. neil like he's just gotta he's just gotta he's gonna decide what he wants to do right just so get your vision down better yeah, like yeah. what do you really want yeah because like, we you know when yeah. someone says well i want to be the best in the world that's awesome everybody does what does yeah. that mean yeah 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 Right. Do yeah. you want to be in the best? How big is this world? Because, yeah. to you know, and if people listen to that one, that was the only thing that is going to be a real challenge for him. He's yeah. going to be great if he wants. He's already great. He's doing his thing. But if he yeah. wants to be big, he cannot do it the way he's doing it. I'm sorry. It's just not possible. Because yeah. he's still doing almost hand delivery, hand this, that. Like, you can't do it, man. This yeah. country's way too big. Yeah. Way too big. He's going to yeah. have to trust the distributor. I mean, he could pick a couple good ones. There's lots out there. Mm-hmm. But he's going to have to really sit back and say, okay, mm-hmm. how do I drive this now maybe from 20,000 feet, not 10? Because to scale, I think he's got to get to 50,000 feet. Do you know what I mean? He's got yeah. to yeah. be, you got to get up there. Yeah. Right? Well, you can and, still have some of I, it, but. I also think, sorry, I, I also think in there, because I think you've got some big points, right? And I think it's, uh, like there are certain things in the secret, literally in his secret sauce that yeah. you should keep as close to handmade as you oh, can, 100%. right? Like, because those are the things that define who you are, but you're yeah. right. Like until you know how big you can be, you don't know if you have sacred cows that you can't move, right? Exactly. Um, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, or, or you, you know, or success is quite simply going, I, I cannot change part of this recipe it can only be as good as it, it can only be as big as i can make it as fast as i can make it but there's nothing wrong right? with that and there's nothing that's wrong awesome. with that either yeah, yeah. that's that's fantastic yeah, yeah. agree you know agree. and maybe agree. you know and maybe his world of of getting out there and bigger is maybe it's going to be more shipping out yep. and yep. he's going to do it all from from a kitchen a, um, yep. a third-party kitchen but where he controls the world it's just it's going to be tough to go across any country Ours in particular, because mm-hmm. it's so large with so little in between mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. without using a different model. Like if he wanted to conquer the GTA, I mean, he'll be exhausted, but he could do it. Yep. But he'd have to probably pick a couple hundred stores. And again, you're getting past that. I, yeah. I think you're really, it's, it's tough, right? Because I know he really wanted to almost deliver each order and handshake and talk. Yeah. And it, but you know what it's like, Phil, you, it, that's, that's really, yeah. You know, your city's not small. Toronto is a, is a, is a grind. If you go from one end to the other. Uh, even to do the 200 stores that he had, right? That's pretty amazing. Well, he was up even in Ottawa. Yeah. Right? yeah. Did he have stores there, yeah. you told me? Or yeah, he, was... he did. He did. He had, he had some stores really far away. You know, so those are hikes. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I liked him because I think his, I think, I can't wait to try the product. I'm dying yeah. to try the product. I, I So um, I use the jalapeno in my eggs now. Um, that's awesome he'll love you for that it's amazing and then i use the scotch bonnet in my burgers actually oh that's and a they're good place. amazing yeah they're amazing but I'm i haven't stoked. i haven't tried marinating meat with them because i i um i'm reluctant to use that much of it <laughs> in one place so because awesome. i don't want to blow it all so yeah, but it, it yeah. stretches though doesn't it yeah it, it's it's quite versatile and then there's there's still quite a bit of it like so you could eat it like sometimes honestly it's good enough i just eat it like salsa 
it's really? fantastic yeah it's really good <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I honestly, you know what it is? I think I yeah. still, I'm still struggling to figure out what the hell this thing is. Yeah, I, yeah. I really want to, I really want to try to see, I'm yeah. really dying to try it. I, I think to me, like, so I, I honestly think, I think the hardest thing he's up against is that when you say sauce, we're so dominated by like liquid, you know, kind of vinegary sauces, like the Frank's red hot and things yeah. like that, that when you get into this kind of idea of like a tapenade or, you know, or a some spread. sort of like a spread, we don't really do that. Right. But we, no. we could. Right. So, and Asia you does could. a lot of it. Like satay is a hundred percent the same category. It's like right. a spread, right? Like you right. can marinate with it. You can right. cook with, it, you can add it on top and it's fine. Right. So he is in that category, but we just don't do a lot of it. Don't you guys have, what's, what's the, there's the, the chili pepper spread, the grandma one. There's a Chinese one. that's a brand yeah, yeah. that's sort of like that. Yeah, yeah. Like the Italians yeah. have one that's very similar that yeah. where it's, it's the peppers, but it's more, it's no, you can yep. do it as a, as a, a wet rub. Yeah. You can yeah. do it into your sauce. Yeah stir you can yeah. put it on a piece of bread but you can't call it a sauce yeah because i'm with you a sauce i'm yeah. thinking okay without your vh you know that's pretty sriracha you know, uh, HP, sriracha's hp anything in there yeah, doesn't matter yeah. what it is but that's where yeah. you are yeah and i don't know if that's where he wants to be see because this know. sounds more like this sounds more like uh, almost like um salt and pepper and yeah, yeah you yeah. know and, and like a true like like a marinade add this to yeah. really give it yeah. a kick or you can use it yeah. as a yeah. marinade or you could use yeah. it actually as a spice yeah so what do you call it it's complicated he's walked well, into a marketing mystery and he doesn't even know it yet no he doesn't know it yet well you know what it is because he's selling it all by himself still <laughs> right again so once you scale yeah. how do you it's yeah. it's gonna yeah. be tough on the message it's complicated it's complicated doable yeah doable yeah. it's complicated right? yeah. and he's passionate enough about it so i'm, I'm sure he'll make a He'll make a go of it, but I really yeah. liked it. I liked his story. I liked him too. He was kind of fun. Yeah. But and then, I, and then Rohan was cool. Sure. Rohan was very cool. Uh, Rose is like, cool because the just, family's uh, cool. Right. Yeah. yeah I mean, they yeah. got a lot of stuff going yeah. on and the fact that, you know, the older brothers and sisters get in your grill to make sure yeah. you're doing the right things. <laughs> Why am I in business? That. Cause my sister, brothers, and my sister, sisters brother told me I had to <laughs> <laughs> go full around. Get yeah. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know, or do something and get yeah. something. Yeah. Right. But still, but, I mean, again, you know, it's all family stuff, though, right? It sounds like they all put, you know, they're all pressured to contribute and do their yeah, part. There's, there's a lot to do with success, yeah, right? Yeah, doesn't so, sound like it's a free, a free ride, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny because after that, we're we're focused on a story, and then and then my my daughter, right, uh, Rachel, who sings, was like, "Hey, wait, that's Rohan Marley." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, that's Rohan Marley," and she said he's the one that was married to Lauren Hill. And, yeah. uh, and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, did you ask about it? I go, no, like we <laughs> were worried about his business story. I didn't get into his life or anything. Like we got into him and his journey. Right. But oh, he's got know. the kids. He's, I think he had five or yeah. six kids with Lauren Hill. Yeah. 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 And totally right? he's got like 11 kids 11 or something kids. like that. Right. Which is the same with the same with the old man had. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But, why, but I, yeah, I, I just I think it's cool. That, right? why, would you, like, why would we talk? You can't talk. Wait, Rachel, why would we ask him about Lauren Hill? Wow. Where are you going? It'd be cool to ask him about Lauren Hill, but it's not really our thing, right? So no, it's not. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe over a beer, I'd ask him. But what do you ask him? How was it? Like, how was it? I, I mean, don't you know, know. I mean, like, I don't, I don't. Obviously, know. it was pretty yeah. good because they had five yeah, kids together, yeah, right? Yeah, so obviously, yeah. they're yeah, pretty yeah. happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, but I, I thought funny. his story was cool, and then, I love his story. You no. Know, and I love that he's kind of the guy behind like the Marley music stuff and the headphones and the speakers, yeah. like the house of Marley stuff. So, cause it's, it's nice stuff. So, and, and, yeah. and you know, and all the clothing, all the tough gong, right? Yeah. 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 That's very cool. These guys are it's, cool. it, like, it is cool. I mean, it's, but it also shows you, it doesn't matter what the name is. You know, there are things that do well, things that don't like you can yeah. have failures, yeah. you know, at, at any sort of level. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. the name will carry you, but the name only carries yeah. you so far. Like sooner or later, products yeah. have to be. No, good. you, like, you, you got you to gotta make shit happen, right? Otherwise, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't happen, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I've got like, I've got the headphones. I like the Marty yeah. headphones. I have a, 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 what do you call it? Like a sound bar. A or, sound bar, you know? yeah. Yeah, I, I have like the it. same. Right? Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like their stuff. I think they're actually cool. That looks good. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it's really cool. 
No, yeah, it was and then, good. I, and then we turned out a, a great big episode. I didn't realize how long it was. We talked the, for a long time. The Analia and the and the, and the, the two ladies there. Jessica one. It's so long. Like I didn't realize how long it yeah, was. Yeah, we talked a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I think but most of it was in the really back cool half things. of the interview. I think we we all four of us got excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you if you didn't make it that far or you wanted to listen to it in two segments. Two, the, two shots, it's worth it. Yeah, because the back half is um the back half we got into like what they could do. Right. Um, and I like Kenny and I both see, you know, just a good chunk of usage in there. From a buyer's perspective, yeah. I think what they do is incredible because the stuff you could, I mean, wow, you got like a, almost a million like hardcore, like true users of stuff, right? Like that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. I still want to figure out how to use these guys. I still don't know the process, right? Yeah. Probably because I tune in and tune out, right? But I'll have to ask Um, Jessica one day. Like, well, like, what do you actually do? Like, do you go down and say, hey, here, you know what? Can you do a thousand people? And what does that mean? I think you do. I think you go, you could do a couple of things. So let's say you and I launch. Bill and Kenny's pistachios. Like fair, pistachios. fair trade, homegrown. I'm gonna get it all wrong. Gluten free, keto friendly <laughs> pistachios. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, right? Okay. Good, those, good uh, but but anyway, so so if we did that and we said, hey, we we wanna we wanna be able to test out how this works. I I think this the way this works is we would give them. Uh, shots of our packaging so they could put it on the website and then we would commit to x number of samples and then they would put it up right and see people in different communities and see if anyone wants to be able to try the product um so they would oh no we wouldn't give them samples we would give them coupons and then they people would go to a store and buy them and then give us feedback via social nature I was saying, you know what I didn't yeah. understand? Like, how's the redemption work? Is this clearinghouse? Yeah, yeah, it's like, clearinghouse. It, it depends on the, it depends so how long on your before retailer. Before the debit comes in. Like, I'm trying to think from, from I don't know. I think it's like a regular retailer. So I think, because you would go to Loblaw, like, let's say you and I are listed at Loblaw as long goes, you know, kind of your normal places. That's where you would go with your coupon. So you would show up at the till and go, hi, I've, I've got my can of sashes. Here's the, you know, and then Loblaws would do it through clearinghouse, right? Um, but, so when then, would we get debited? Whenever Loblaws decides like six to, months down the road, four months down the road, it could be. It could be three months actually. See, I didn't right? want to get I think into it. Normally, is like three months ish. It could be. I think maybe like it could be a little. Because the reason I want, oh, what I was trying mm-hmm. to, I was trying to understand it, is as you know, that's it's. If you're a small business, that's awesome. What's not so awesome if you're a small business is waiting three or four months for the cash. Yeah, flow you got to accrue for it, right? Right. So you, you have to be it, cognizant of that. Money okay, for listen, it. Yeah. yeah, I need to put this aside and hold. So you need some discipline on that too, because again, it's not again, it's not rocket science. It's not hard to think, but you got to think of those things. Yeah, you give a thousand bags away and it's five bucks a bag. Yeah, you know, do you have you, the you five grand? That, right, like, right, and you, just you're gonna you pay for that, right? And you gotta month. pay for it when it shows up. Not yeah, it's not like they forgot. It just takes yeah. time. Yeah, there's no timing either, right? So it is no, it's literally like you put away the money and then. You just, it just sits there until it shows up, right? So, and then at some point you, like, we used to set it aside for a year because like once you set the coupons free, you can put an expiry, but usually expiries are 12, 18 months, right? It can be, I mean, it can be shorter, but then there's quasi arbitrary too, because, you know, a lot of the uh, retailers- They'll probably honor them anyway. Yeah. 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 So once they take them, means you're taking them. You're going to honor them as well. Otherwise, you face the consequences. Now, did they say though there was no? Um, we're gonna have to have them back on because I need more mechanics. So, was there a digital option on those where we you could get you know? So if it was a coupon, know, actually. it was actually for the retail. You know, like if you did a line of drugs, you wouldn't have to mm-hmm. wait three months because they clear their own coupons, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? So you could do something. Could be much faster. Yeah, yeah, you could have it in a month. Yeah. Again, better for cash flow. Yeah. I'd rather have the debit. Yeah. The predictability the is better. Yeah, at least I know what I'm doing. And I built it. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. Have to, I'm gonna, I'll have to ask for next time. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I'm still trying to understand it better because I think it's really cool. I just don't get it. I don't, I don't really say I get, I get the concept. I don't get the how, yeah, how yeah, the mechanics yeah. really work. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm curious I get about it. that side. I get it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 
anyway, so very interesting, but um, some pretty cool episodes. And yeah, then we're actually, so we're actually booked up. Are we recording think, next week? I think I lost track, but I actually think that we're think booked up until February now. Yeah, I think you're mid-February. Yeah, I think so. One second. Let's collapse those out, and then let's just see. Um, yeah, February 10th, and I'm sure, oh, yeah, I, I think I've missed somebody as well. I think so you probably missed a couple probably, people too, right? Probably actually the end of February is what we're booked out till. That's okay. That's we cool. have some really cool ones there too. Yeah, like really. Are cool. we doing next week? Are we recording next week? Um, so next week, I think next week is going to be our holiday hangout. I just haven't sent anything yet, hmm. which isn't a very good hangout if I don't send something. Oh, unless it's just me you hanging out again. Yeah, I mean, you know, no. So last year we did a, a like two hours of hanging out. I think we did three. Two hours. Is, oh, I think we did three. I think it's probably enough. I think this time we're going to do 90 minutes to two yeah, hours. I think 90 minutes is like the, um, the sweet spot. But yeah, so so we did do a holiday hangout. I will. It's the 20th. So that gives people almost. If we do the 30th, right, yeah, which is next like Thursday. So I'll just give people enough time to. Okay. Yeah. Should send that. Maybe I'll send that today. Yeah, I'm going back into a spreadsheet, so I'm not. I'm not doing it. Um, there's one more thing. So if people lasted this long, um, on the website you will see something called a Patreon button. Um, and if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a it's a site where you can go to support us. Um, so if you love us. Um, and you wanted to help out with covering, you know, because there, there's some costs that we incur to run the website and um, put up episodes and all that kind of stuff. So there's a Patreon button. You can be a Patreon. Uh, it's really cheap. I think it's um, $3 a month right now. Um, but you could give us some cash um, and that would be okay. That would help us keep all the lights on and um, pay Let's for Kenny's fancy mic. Yeah, cover some of this, this <laughs> stuff. But all adds up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, all like yeah if you don't you know, and you want to throw it. something at us, you, you can do that too. You can reach out and throw something at us virtually. Um, or if you're in Vancouver, you want to throw something at Kenny. That's fine. Just just email me. I'll, I'll give you his address. You can yeah, yeah, swing by and throw an egg or something. That's all good. Um, but yeah, it's all good yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's a Patreon, there's a Patreon episode or a Patreon button. If you feel like it, go on there um, and uh, give us some love. That would be amazing. Cool. Yeah, that one's awkward for us because I don't think either of us like to. I don't think I don't think we've ever liked that side of it, right? No. It's just as no. as as it gets larger, which it is, it's, it does. It's just the time and and the yeah. and the monies to get um, yeah. all the other stuff behind. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Everything yeah, would that, be nice too. If you had us. ideas of guests, that would be cool too. We would love it. Um, I, really I think like. I think um, continue to do that, and then there's actually a survey coming out soon. Uh, we would love to hear from you guys as well. So we'll we'll um, we'll flag it when it comes out, but we'd love it if you filled in the survey once that's available as well, because that would help us, um, you know, kind of keep making things better. Yeah, better, better, better. Tailor it better for whatever people want to listen yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. that we'll listen necessarily, but you never know. We might. We're not. Um, I think we're good listeners. Are we good implementers? Mm. Maybe slightly less good implementers. Less good. Yeah, not as more uh, better. Whatever. Yeah, it's more better. Oh, we want good. to make it more better. That's what Kenny would That's say. That's it. That's all we want to do, baby. Um, that's it that is it that is that is it I for the episode nothing else for you my friend um we will not talk to you guys before, oh, um, before christmas, christmas again so merry christmas to all of our listeners we yeah thank you so much for listening we um we Enjoy appreciate the season, that you're hanging whether out you're with us celebrate christmas or not yeah. hang up spend some time with family and friends yeah and then really stop and take a break hang out yeah um you know like you know take a deep breath get some sleep get some rest plan a vacation kind of do the things well, just spend some time things. with people you really like to spend yeah. time with yeah you know yeah. it's true enjoy the season yeah it's nice yeah. It's, it should be a nice time of year it seems very stressful because it's the end of the year and there's a lot of stuff going on but try yeah. to enjoy it it's a nice time of year yeah 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 all good awesome okay my friend all right that is all
Okay. I guess we'll uh, chat with you probably later this week. Yeah, yeah, probably. Actually, I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening.